Okay, so I'm not gonna be presenting a very unpopular p opinion in this video, but She-Hulk looks kind of bad. Don't get me wrong, like, we, I haven't seen it, so I can't say if it is bad. I'm not here saying, oh, She-Hulk is it's bad. It's, it's terrible. Like, I'm not watching it because it looks bad. And I get not watching something because it looks bad, but I'm not gonna judge on it too harshly because I actually have never, I, I haven't watched the show yet. But... Ever since I saw the first trailer, like, I was like, something about this just doesn't, like, just doesn't seem like it's, doesn't seem like it's good. But Marvel in general has not really been that good. Just, especially the shows, honestly. The thing about Marvel is that they're just popping out so much, so the CGI, of course, is getting worse. We're gonna talk about She-Hulk's CGI later, or maybe, I'll, we won't talk about it too far from now, but... I'm not on it right now. That's not the topic I'm on right now. But I think that because Marvel is, like, putting out so much, the budget is just getting lower and lower, and things are just getting worse. Like, everything is rushed, and it, you can feel it with the drop of quality in the shows and movies. I made a video kind of talking about this before, about how Marvel Phase 4 is just, like, not hitting. Like, it's just not as good as the other phases. Like, it's just pretty bland. Like, nothing really is sticking out to me and it kind of sucks because i used to be like pretty big on marvel and yeah i'm watching every show every movie i mean they didn't have the shows really before but i'm like i'm watching every movie like i'm excited to see the movies and even when the shows first started i was like i'm excited to watch one division like it's just not the same anymore and i'm starting to like kind of get tired of it like because every time I watch anything from Marvel, it's always, like, mid now. For instance, I haven't watched Miss Marvel. I mean, to me, Miss Marvel didn't look absolutely terrible. It's just that I don't really have a lot of hope in Marvel. Same with Moon Knight. I haven't finished it. I watched the first episode. It didn't grab me in. So I just stopped. I'm, I am I want to watch them, Miss Marvel and Moon Knight later, but it's just, like, it's not something I really, like, I'm like, oh, I gotta watch it. It's just like, uh, I guess I'll do it if I want to if i have time whatever someday it's just i keep saying someday and then i don't watch it i heard moon knight was pretty good so i will eventually watch it eventually someday but okay enough of all that babbling about all the other shows in marvel in general let's just talk about she hulk i'm pretty sure it's getting negative reviews so far um let me actually google that i gotta fact check that so hold on let me actually pull it up for you guys so i'm looking at this she hulk here we go um not looking too good with uh the google users rating um not good for imdb rotten tomatoes actually pretty decent i it's pretty good actually um that's a little surprising but like i said it's not it's not doing the best with the actual like people audience google users i don't i don't know who you, don't critics do rotten tomatoes not like actual people yeah it's not doing good with the the public i guess so yeah that's an issue the public doesn't seem to like it very much and i've heard some things about the show from other people on why they don't like it but let me start with what really kind of threw me off about the show when i saw the trailer like why i was like i don't know if i want to see this it looks bad honestly okay the first thing that caught my eye was the cgi but that wasn't me saying that oh the cgi is bad so the story and plot line must be awful like i watch old movies the quality is dropping you know but then again it wasn't just that that threw me off it was for me it was just like it seemed it seemed like a i don't know how to put it it seemed like one of those shows that like tried too hard to be fun i guess it seemed like it was gonna be something where it's like oh we're trying so hard to make this funny and stuff and that kind of it threw me off i just didn't think it looked interesting or cool like it wasn't even even in the trailers the humor wasn't that funny i actually did see some people who had seen the movie actually talking about how they are tired of marvel always making the main character like a goofball and funny and i kind of am too because it's really starting to get overused i mean it was always cool to have a funny character before because we had the early ones iron man would sometimes be funny but like he knew when to be serious and then i feel like some goofy characters that are pretty notable goofy characters would be like ant-man and star lord like they're, they're obviously goofy but they always knew like when to be serious people say like i feel they feel like even in the battle it's still like goofy 
And it's like, why? Even if the character is like goofy and knows when to be serious, I'm kind of tired of like not having characters who are just completely serious. They're good leaders or something like that. Like Captain America, for instance. Like I kind of miss Captain America. Like he was never like my favorite character, but I do miss him. Like he was just, he was always like the level-headed one, and like he, he like he wasn't too goofy like he would crack maybe a little joke but like almost never like i want characters with more like backstory and like seriousness i don't want them to always be joking all the time until things get serious i don't want characters who goof around still when things get serious like it's not like i feel like it's just so overused now and that's what a lot of people are complaining about they're saying that's exactly what's happening in the show it's the goofball character again it's like why do they keep doing this? Also, in the trailer, I saw that they did this thing where they break the fourth wall. Apparently, they're doing it in the show, like, oftentimes, too, and it's just like, um, what? Like, oh, I feel like they're just trying too hard. I'm sorry. Another thing that I heard that was bad about the show is, like, the law situations, which is really weird considering the show is based on law. Like, why is the law situations that this girl faces bad like why is it unrealistic i like I, I haven't watched the show so i don't know if people are just bsing on that but if it's really bad like i don't know why like you should i feel like marvel should like put an effort like i mean if this is a show about a lawyer or attorney then why is why are the law situations bad like something is not adding up like that that sucks that would suck if they're actually unrealistic that would that would suck and daredevil's on it and he's a lawyer so that's interesting like i i feel like i almost as like daredevil like daredevil's appearance i know he appeared in no way home but like his actual appearance is in this show like that's like i want to see daredevil because i want to see what they're gonna do with him but like it's just like why this show because i don't even want to see the show that much i probably will eventually because i'm just like i just because if you miss too much then you don't know what's going on like what if there's a movie that's actually good <laughs> like if something comes out that's actually good and i miss everything then things are gonna be weird and also loki season two is coming out like i don't know when but i know it's there's a loki season two and i don't want to like miss anything important so yeah you know about loki you know what movie was good multiverse of madness i actually liked that one i actually liked that one i think i said in my last marvel video that i hadn't seen it yet but it got good reviews and yeah i thought it was pretty it was a pretty good movie especially for marvel right now it was like it was finally it was kind of like refreshing honestly because it wasn't a bad movie it was pretty good i have heard people say however that she hulk is pretty decent like it's not awful it's not unwatchable but it's like eh, it's okay like it's not like again like i said a lot of the stuff marvel's putting out is just mid like it's like nothing really stands out i've heard some people like saying oh it's like it's just nothing about it stands out but it's not like awful you know which you know i can't say they're wrong i can't be like well it looks bad you know, I, I don't- I haven't seen the show, so that's good to hear that it's from some people that it's decent. But yeah, honestly, this this show doesn't look good. And it's not me, like, being some internalized sexist, because I know there are some, like, sexists out there who are like, I can't believe they're making Hulk a girl, or something like that. And it's like, mm, I don't know about that one, because She-Hulk has been around- for a while like she was in the comics so it's not like marvel just made this up on the spot for like diversity or something i think the show just looks genuinely bad i don't care if she hulk is she hulk it's just like it's pretty it just looks pretty bad but i don't know if like it's like i don't know i don't know what exactly people don't like about the show concerning she hulk being a girl like i don't know if they're doing something weird about it but it's as of right now it just i mean she hulk is an existing character so i don't know i don't like i said i haven't seen the show yeah she hulk doesn't look good but can't say it isn't i just i feel like marvel was really dropping in quality but that's all guys um i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did like it subscribe if you want more content like this and i will see you guys next time